Now that we've got our model uh, opened up, we've got our stock created, we've got our profiles created, we're going to create a contouring operation on the end of our part. And it's actually really simple to do. The, uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to select the, uh, the chain feature. So select that chain feature and then using the solid mill traditional toolbar, you want to go to contouring. And so in our contouring operation, we're going to use the 3 8 inch end mill that we, uh, that we cre uh, came in with our um, tool list. Uh, for our 3 8 inch end mill, you're going to look up the feeds and speeds from your feeds and speeds chart or look them up on the MFE Labs website. On the strategy tab, now we want to do several, um, several roughing passes. I think it takes a minimum of three, but I'm going to go ahead and put five in there. Um, no finish pass, we'll leave it like this. Our step over, I believe that that remembers correctly from the last time we used this tool, but you should check that again on your, uh, your feeds and speeds chart. Our process order can be depth. We do not need a spiral move. Um, tolerance, we can leave that alone. We're gonna stock allowance zero, so we want it to go all the way to the edge and all the way down on uh, total depth here. And so I picked the total depth of 0.875 now you remember that our stock material is 0.75 inches thick here i've got a piece so our stock material is 0.75 inches thick i'm having the tool go down to 0.875 so that it goes past the bottom and so that we're truly cutting with the side edge of the tool and we're not worried about if there's a radius on the bottom of the tool or a chip on the bottom of the tool we're not worried about that interacting with the bottom edge of the stock material so 0.875 our incremental depth is one times the diameter, so 0.375, and again, that's from our feed and speed chart. Uh, we're gonna offset, so if we look at the arrow on the workpiece, the arrow is pointed in this, in this view, sort of down to the left, um, and that will allow us, if we, have, if we have our part here, and we have our, our tool spinning, we'll have a clockwise motion that will allow us to do a climb milling operation when the tool is spinning this way and moving along that edge. So, uh, Offset side left, offset tool radius, yes. We're gonna turn off cutter compensation, so set this to off. In, uh, in later exercises, we'll use that cutter compensation. And so, remember I said, I think it'll take about three passes to cut this. I don't really know for sure, so I'm gonna turn on stock automation and tell it to trim. And now it won't do more passes than it needs to in order to remove the material based on the settings that we've put in here. So five, stock automation trim. And the general tab, again, we get our 3 8 end mill. You need to look up the feeds and speeds from your feeds and speeds chart. On the advanced tab, we can pretty much go with what it says here. So no, we don't need a torquoidal move. Uh, we don't need to worry about any of these things. And on the links tab, now this is how the, the tool enters and leaves the cutting area. Uh, we can go ahead and use tangent. In our clearance, we can have it go up to the clearance plane when it comes back. So I'm going to say OK. It's going to make that cutting operation for us. We'll go ahead and simulate. Make sure that it looks like we expected it to. We can go ahead and simulate a little bit more slowly. And so the tool's coming in. We can turn off the tool holder visibility. One of these turns off the tool holder. Oh, this one. Holder visibility. We'll turn off the tool holder visibility. We're just looking at the tool as it goes across and makes these cutting operations. And so that's finishing. The other thing we can do is we can turn on the comparison dialog and that will show us how close our part compares with the target material that we added in later. We can actually open up a dialog here. We can see that uh, so green again is plus or minus five ten thousandths. So it's within a band that's one thousandth of an inch wide. And if we look at it, we can see that almost all of it is green. We get a little bit of blue down here in the bottom. And, uh, and again, it fades off to blue as the part tapers away there. So, uh, so we've created our contouring operation and stop that simulation.